The law of attraction receives unquestionably the most attention of the 12 universal laws. This spiritual principle essentially asserts that opposites attract and that positive thinking can usher in a more positive reality. Welcome everyone in today's video. We're gonna look at what is the law of attraction. How does it work? Here are the fundamentals of the law of attraction, what it is, what it isn't, and how you might apply it to your life. But before we proceed, if you're new to this channel, remember, go ahead and to hit the bell icon to subscribe so you won't miss the informative videos we will upload in the future. What are the 12 universal laws? The 12 universal laws are believed to be inherent, immutable laws of our universe that prehistoric peoples have always intuitively understood. The themes and foundations of each are described in more detail, along with suggestions for how to use them in your everyday life. The laws of attraction. That's your thoughts because they become your words. Watch your actions because they form your habits. Watch your habits because they become your character and watch your character because it becomes your destiny, according to Louise Hay. It's apparent that the idea that we attract what we put out has been around for a long time, and many people attribute the spread of this theory to Buddha. The following three tenets govern how the law of attraction works. What, like attracts, like, while using the law of attraction to bring your desires to life may seem simple, it actually requires thoughtful focus action, and a measure of surrender. Even if we're not aware of it, opposites tract. Depending on the energy we are sending out ourself, we are always attracting either positivity or negativity. Louise Hay says we are all like magnets, reflecting and drawing to ourselves what we hold in our minds. Or to use Louise Hay's analogy, the law of attraction is like to placing a purchase order with spirit. When you ask for a manifestation, spirit will search until it finds the best match. Two, nature abhors a vacuum. According to this theory, nothing can genuinely occupy an empty space. It must always be filled. As a result, it's critical to purge negativity from your life to make room for constructive transformation. Your mind also has to be decluttered, so you may make room for new things that will better serve you, just like your workstation or bedroom. Three, the present is always perfect. The third and final component of the law of attraction is perfecting the present moment. It teaches us that there will always be reasons to be unhappy if you look for them, but finding solutions to problems that are going wrong is essential to changing your reality so that it attracts the things you want. Not that you can't acknowledge negativity or experience negative emotions because of it. Instead, Focus on improving any bad circumstances as much as you can right now and let the rest go. What the law of attraction isn't? Of course, believing in yourself and thinking positively won't be enough to realize your dreams. You must also put in the effort. This entails living in accordance with your objectives and making the necessary preparations to realize them. For instance, if your objective is to complete a marathon in under four hours, you must prepare diligently and take good care of your body in the months before the race. From there, adding some uplifting mantras and visualizations will help the universe understand your intention even more. Everyone who is prone to worry should be aware that the law of attraction is not intended to penalize them. People sometimes worry that if they have negative ideas or low vibrations, they can somehow ruin their life when they first learn and begin to practice this law. As Louise Hay observes, since no one is flawless while we are going through a difficult time, we can utilize the law as a mirror of our own thinking and self-worth. And always keep in mind that it's vital to submit and allow the universe take the wheel. At a particular stage of manifestation, Louise Hay continues, be open to them since opportunities, people, and resources might appear out of nowhere. It's okay if things don't turn out exactly like you planned. How to start using the law of attraction today. And here are some ideas for how you might use the power of optimism in your life right now. 
Visualize. Imagining something you want to happen is a powerful way to make it happen. The desired future might be visualized in your mind or realized physically through sketching. To stay motivated and inspired, you might also make a vision board for your objectives. Keep a notebook of gratitude, since like attracts like. Deliberately concentrating on your blessings might help you attract greater prosperity into your life. Speak it into existence. Yeah. Speaking your desires out is another approach to bring them from your mind's imagination into the realm of reality. Louise Hay advises, get up and say aloud to the universe, I would like X. This is a particularly wise course of action if you're just starting off. Pay attention to coincidences. Those significant coincidences that seem almost supernatural are known as synchronicities. It's certainly an indication that you're on the correct path. If coincidences relating to your objective keep happening, use the marathon example again. Perhaps your vibe number continues appearing on signs or billboards. You frame a scarcity mindset. It's simple to fall into a cycle of lack and scarcity when we're looking for something we don't yet possess. However, concentrating on your lack of love, money, happiness, etc., simply serves to intensify that lack. Always try to imagine yourself in the desired position. Let go of how you believe things should turn out and trust the universe to work its magic while keeping an open mind to what the cosmos deems to be best, advises Louise Hay. How to use the law of attraction to work towards specific goals. Love relationships. Uh, the first step in using the law of attraction to attract more love into your life is to become aware of any potential unconscious resistance you may be experiencing. Louise Hay asserts, for instance, that the universe keeps delivering you unavailable people. This could signal something within you is still inaccessible. Once you've identified this obstacle, you may focus on removing these internal barriers and developing a more approachable way of dealing with others. Trust the universe to deliver you the companion you need, not necessarily the one you think you want, by tuning into who you truly are and what you want. Career goals. It's crucial to be explicit about what you want when using the law of attraction in your career. Use specific language when outlining your job objectives, such as I make X amount of money in X city or I want to work with like-minded people who support my views. Action is crucial in this situation, of course. If you want the promotion, consider what the promoted me would do. Finances. It takes a lot of unlearning to develop a healthy relationship with financial abundance since money anxieties are sensitive and real. It's particularly simple to adopt a scarcity mindset when it comes to money. Uh, instead, make an effort to put more of an emphasis on what you already have than what you lack. The phrase abundance flows through me, so I can cheerfully share as one that Louise Hay uses to help her with this. It's best to start small and concentrate on bringing about tiny adjustments in each of these areas first. You'll grow more adept at manifesting as you practice, and eventually you'll be able to take on bigger, more drastic changes. That's all for today's video. The law of attraction is fundamentally about changing your perspective to one of plenty, asking for what you want, and coordinating your actions with your wishes. It may seem too wonderful to be true, and can take some practice to get the hang of. But at its core, when you are able to achieve those things, you may take control of your life and attract a wide range of opportunities. Don't forget to like the video and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos from our channel. Thanks for watching and see you all soon.